One of the easiest side hustles you can start right now is recording audiobooks. All you really need is a computer with an internet connection, a microphone, a digital audio workstation, a little bit of patience, and a whole lot of hustle. At any point you learn something new in this video, make sure you smash that like button. I'm going to show you how to use ACX.com, which was created by Amazon, to connect with authors and get paid to create audiobooks for them. These audiobooks get sold on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes, and the website pays you every month for the amount of streams and sales your audiobook gets. The way it works is you sign up, upload audio samples of your voice so you can show off your unique vocal qualities, choose how you're gonna get paid, start auditioning for books. Once you get an offer you like, work through it either on your own or with some help, finish and upload the final product. Creating audiobooks through ACX is a great way to build passive income, and I encourage everyone to give it a shot and get started. My name is Gaby Baby. Stick around to the end of the video, and I'm going to show you a great place to find VST plugins to make the audiobook creation process a whole lot quicker and easier. So let me show you how to get started. Head on over to www.acx.com and click on the top right where it says sign up now. You can use your Amazon Prime account or a brand new email address. Once you've signed up, click the search button and then titles accepting auditions and you can start scrolling through the hundreds of books currently accepting auditions. You can even add filters based on genre, your gender, and how you want to be paid. You either get paid per finished hour, PFH, sharing royalties with the author, or royalty share plus, which is a per finished hour rate and a royalty share with the author, which in my opinion is the best. Click on any book that interests you to get more information about it, including the project budget and the word count. Scroll down to the About This Title tab to get a more detailed summary of the book. Then click on the Audition tab to read more of the audition requirements and download the script. Once you have your script and the microphone set up, you're ready to start recording. Now let me show you how to record your first audiobook audition. So now I got my script and my recording software and I'm ready to go. Now I'm using Ableton Live, but this works in any digital audio workstation like GarageBand, Logic, Pro Tools, or Audacity. So I have three audio tracks set up. The record track where I'll actually be recording audio, the book track where I'll be cutting and editing the actual audiobook, and the room tone which I'll be adding at the end. Room tone is an essential requirement for an audiobook so the silences don't sound weird. So now I'm going to record the first section of this audition. Fight, flight, fight. Flight, freeze, fawn. Fight, flight, freeze, fawn. Each of these words describe a natural, physiological human response to a perceived threat. In any situation that the mind views as dangerous or threatening, the body is triggered to immediately end, decrease, or avoid the threat. I started to tear up at the end a bit there. And once that's recorded, I'll drag it on down into the book track and I'm ready to record the next section. When I'm recording the next section, it's best to lead in with the sentence before so the flow sounds a little bit more natural, like this. To immediately end, decrease, or avoid the threat. This reaction presents itself in one of four ways, or a combination of the following. So now when I go in to edit these together, I can clip it right where the first one ends and the second one begins, and then drag the new recording down into the book track and just delete all the extras. And here's what we got. To immediately end, decrease, or avoid the threat. This reaction presents itself in one of four ways, or a combination of the following. So that flow sounded very natural, and that's how you wanna create all the new sections of your audiobook. Now one thing we need to keep in mind is that we need no more than five seconds of room tone at the beginning and end of the recording. This is so the listener knows the chapters are starting and ending. It also creates a feeling of space in between the sections of silence in your audio recordings. This is one of the three major requirements we gotta pay attention to. So I'm just gonna hit record, let my mic record the sound of the room, and add that as a track under my book. So now I can leave that room tone where I made all those mistakes at the beginning, and at the end where there's nothing else but my chair squeaking. So now I'll bring this recording down to the room track and I can copy and paste it for the rest of the audiobook. 
So the next thing to keep in mind is that ACX accepts audio files between negative 23 and negative 18 decibels RMS, which is the digital loudness of the file. The best way to check this is with a free plugin that I like called Ulean Loudness Meter. I'm gonna throw it on the master channel and give a quick listen to this recording so I can see how loud it is. These words describe a natural physiological human response. So the meter is telling me negative 46.1 LUFS, which is pretty much the same thing as RMS. So this is pretty quiet and I need to turn up this audio. So I'm gonna make this a little bit louder. Give it another listen. Freeze, fawn. Each of these words describe a natural physio- And it's almost at 23, so I'm gonna take Ableton's stock limiter and put it right before the loudness meter. And now slowly turn it up while watching the loudness meter until it hits the right range. Fight, flight, freeze, fawn. Each of these words describe a natural physiological human response to a perceived threat. In any situation that the mind views as dangerous or threatening, the body is triggered to immediately end, decrease, or avoid the threat. Now that everything's as loud as I want, the last thing I'm gonna add is a gate on this track, just to make sure everything's quiet when I'm not talking, and all those chair squeaks that you hear aren't happening in the actual recording of the audiobook. So now that this gate is on, I'm gonna slowly bring down the threshold until I can hear all the words and everything else is silence. Freeze. Fawn. Each of these words describe a natural physiological human response to a perceived threat. In any situation that the mind views as dangerous or threatening, the body is triggered to immediately end, decrease, or avoid the threat. Perfect. Now I'm ready to export the audition. ACX accepts 192 kilobytes per second or higher, 44.1 kilohertz MP3s. So I'm gonna export this first little section as an MP3, save it to my desktop as ACX Audition, and now I'm ready to submit. Now that we're done creating the audition, click on Upload Audition, scroll down to where it says Browse, and upload the file from your computer. You can also send a quick message to the author before clicking Submit. Once it's submitted, then it's just a waiting game. You'll hear back whether you do or don't get accepted, and if you are, then you'll get an offer, and if you accept it, then you'll get all the details for creating the audiobook. The final products have the same requirements as the auditions, so you already know a few of those. When the books are on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes, you'll get a monthly earnings report from ACX, and you can always check your analytics in the sales dashboard. ACX.com is a quick and easy to use website that can help you make money from the comfort of your own home or anywhere around the world. But if you need some extra plugins to help you out, head on over to pluginboutique.com where you can find some great plugins to clean up and enhance the quality of your audio recordings. Go ahead, click the link in my description and check out their library of plugins and all the great deals they have going on right now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you can check out all my new videos when they drop. I'm gonna be dropping some new audio tips soon, like this video where I teach you how to remove background noise. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, my name is Gaby Baby. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, bye-bye.